Since people needed to perform complex calculations and high-precision mechanisms were already there, the middle of the 17th century gave birth to the first calculation devices. One of them was Samuel Morland's non-decimal adding machine invented in 1668. This handy tool helped perform non-decimal calculations for financial operations with the English currency. This machine is considered a good example of a mechanical pocket calculator, since it did not exceed 4.3 inches with just a quarter of an inch in thickness. The cover of the device had eight small and eight big numerical scales mounted on it. The three scales in the bottom row are divided into four, 12 and 20 parts that are used for calculations with the English currency of the time. A guinea equals to 20 shillings, a shilling 12 pennies, and a penny 4 farthings. The first row had decimal scales with units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and tens of thousands. Around each of the big scales, there were holes located next to a figure. To select a certain figure from this dial, one had to insert a stylus in the hole next to the selected figure and then turn the scale to the right for addition and to the left for subtraction. The window above the big dial will show the selected figure. The smaller scale located above the bigger one was designed for operations with deciles. Ten turns of the small disk corresponded to one turn of the big one. This small machine was offered to the public as a calculator device, which indeed makes it the first pocket calculator.